In April 1980, at the Institute of Civil Engineers, Peter Guthrie stood up, just come back from helping Vietnamese boat people refugees in Malaysia, and announced the beginning of a new organization, REDAR, the Register of Engineers for Disaster Relief. As throughout its 200-year proud history, the ICE and its support to REDAR once again shows itself in the forefront of engineers responding to the needs of people and coming up with solutions. REDAR works in three different ways. First, our members respond to disasters with the UN and international charities all around the world. Secondly, we train humanitarians, be it face-to-face -face or online, on the skills they need to be more effective and to be more efficient. Finally, Knowledge Point, which is our technical go-to site that anyone in the world can ask a technical question and within 48 hours, you'll have an answer. Through these actions, Red R has been helping people with civil engineering skills for the last almost 40 years. Now, I mentioned those areas, what are they? Well, last year, two of our members responding to disasters, one in Syria near Mosul, working at the front line, helping the people who had been escaping the military intervention there, and setting up water, sanitation, and health programs in northern Uganda for those who were fleeing from the devastation in South Sudan. We're at the very sticking point of what needs to be done. Now the training program, last year, 7,400 people in over 55 countries were trained by Red R and the skills they need. And the knowledge point? The UN made it the go-to technical site for those responding to Hurricane Irma, just as they had for the Haiti earthquake. Red R is also leading the way in preparing for the future. I think we're all aware that the urban crises that are growing around the world and disaster prone, that Red R has designed an urban program, both online and face-to-face, -to, -face, to deal with these. And these are challenges that the world needs qualified, young, energetic, and inventive civil engineers to be able to address these coming challenges. The world needs civil engineers.